Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching part one. If you didn't w watch part one, then you can find a link in the description down below. I'm talking about my favourite Wolves team, my favourite Wolves player put into an 11. This is part two. This is from the midfielders up to the attackers. I hope you enjoy. Now into the midfield, into centre mid. It was difficult for me with some of these players because we've had some good centre midfielders over the years, but I've picked two who are my absolute favourites. I had to keep reminding myself that these are my favourite players, not the best players. So the first player I've gone for is, he's got no hair, but we don't care, it's Alex, Alex Ray. He only played for Wolves for three years, between 2001 and 2004. He was, our, he was probably our best player in the Premier League season, 2003-2004. He scored the most goals, and I think he was only really not given player of the season that year because we were trying to make Henri Kamara stay. We signed him from Sunderland for 1.2 million and he was the player of the season the season before a promotion. He didn't play in the playoff final but he did get us to the playoff final which is one of my favourite goals and favourite little bits of commentary. The other centre midfielder is Dave Edwards. I know he divides opinion I know that lots of people don't like him and lots of people don't think he's a good player but again I remember, just remember I'm talking about my favourite players, not the best. From 2008 when he signed up till now has been a great bastion for the club. He's performed at all levels. This season he's been very, very important. I know that lots of people have called for him to be dropped and things throughout the season, but to score 10 goals from midfield, he's improving I think with age. I can't imagine that next season he'll play as much as he has done this season. I think we'll probably replace him in the transfer window in the summer. And 38 caps for Wales as well, particularly in this group of Welsh players where there are such strong players in his position. I think he's a real testament to him as well. I think he could get into any team in the Championship in his position. In right midfield, I've gone for Michael Kitely. Now, the reason why there's some question marks about him for me is we supported him a lot through his injury troubles and it was a good couple of years that he was out. When we got relegated from the Premier League, he could have stayed with us and helped us win back promotion to the Premier League, but he scarped, but he went. Nevertheless, during that promotion season of 2009, he was an incredible winger. Those goals he scored against Nottingham Forest in the August of that season, in that 5-1 win, were amazing. Cutting in from the right-hand side with his left foot, Great goals on the North Bank end. He also gained an under-21 cap during that time. Left midfield is Matt Jarvis. We signed him from Gillingham in 2007. He played for us for five years, leaving in 2012 after relegation. It was a little bit strange in the way that he played because he was left... No, he was right-footed and he played on the left. But the difference between him and like Vyman and other players we've played in that position is that the speed that he managed to get it onto his right foot was effective and the number of times that he would run at a full back, pushing them back in towards their box. He was the first Wolves player since Steve Bull to get capped by England as well in a, in a friendly against Ghana in 2011, and we sold him to West Ham for nearly 11 million. Up front, I've gone for Wolves' top scorer in the period that I've been watching them. Strong, powerful, Sylvain Ebanks-Blake. 177 appearances for Wolves, 61 goals in the five years between 2008 and 2013. It was an absolute steal. We managed to get him for 1.5 million from Plymouth because of a release clause that we took advantage of. He proved himself to be one of the championship's best strikers. He won the top goal scorer in 2008 and 2009. He scored the goal against QPR to get us up into the Premier League. He struggled a little bit in the Premier League, but I think he was injured during pre-season of the first season there. And then because of Doyle and Fletcher coming in, he sort of went down the pecking order. But when we got relegated to the Championship, again, he stuck with us and he was our top goal scorer in that season. And if if we had a player like him now, I think we would be banging on the door of the playoffs. So Ebanks Blake is my striker. Alongside him, I've gone for a strange one. When I first had a season ticket in the North Bank, which was in the 2001-2 season, I loved Dean Sturridge. The first game that I had a season ticket for, he scored a hat-trick on his home debut against Barnsley when we won 4-1 and he and Nathan Blake provided lots of good memories in that season. It was just unfortunate that I think if we were going to get promoted and stay up it would have had to have been that season. And in charge of all of those lovely players, I'm going to put the manager who has managed us for the longest period during my uh, Wolves watching life. No nonsense. Got us promoted. 
kept us in the Premier League for the longest that we've ever been, and that's Mick McCarthy. But I wouldn't have Terry Connor as his, as his assistant. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to drop a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you really enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments if you agreed or disagreed with any of these choices. Bye-bye.